Hey everyone, welcome back to the grand finals of the But 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 I Love You Season 4 Go Mid or Go Home Tournament. And today it is, uh, you have the honor of having me, But 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 I Love You, and also Freak and Rivington from Riot are going to be casting this with me here. Uh, just make sure to ignore all the ads, you know, this is strictly for the BBB IOY Go Mid or Go Home Tournament. It has nothing to do with IPL, and uh, let's get into this. Uh, let's see, on the blue team we have Mono Esports, who has been... Kind of come out of nowhere lately. They've they've been really doing uh pretty well in tournaments and uh, in IPL four they really showed what they can actually do. And uh, today we kind of have a rematch here between them and Dinitas, who was a uh, really well known really well known for uh you know running this uh, kind of Soraka middle kind of thing, maybe like a Lulu top, um as well as a support bottom where it's like a kind of triple support team. And uh, let's go ahead and look at bans real quick. We have a Karthus ban um, from Mono, which is actually targeted towards Scar, who's been doing a lot of a lot of Karthus lately, not necessarily in competitive play, but at least in rank play. Um, and has definitely been doing quite well with that. Uh, Kogma and Rise are not really targeted at anyone, but Kogma is just generally a very strong uh, AP champion. Or sorry, AD champion. And Rise, um, I, I think that ban might have been targeted just at the fact of um, preventing Dinitas from running like a Vladimir-Rise combo. We can kind of have that double Woda and insane amount of sustain since the whole AP meta has kind of shifted over towards, hey, let's run AP champions that can actually, um, you can do consistent damage, consistent DPS instead of, you know, burst and then you're done kind of thing. And, uh, oh yeah, that is true. That is true, Rivington. Now we see some Udir, Ud Urgot, and Cassiopeia bans from Dinitas, and Cassiopeia is definitely targeted at Paradoxal, who has been running that really well lately in ranked. Um, and as well, um, that Urgot, which I'm assuming is to help um, prevent Ur or Olaf from getting counter top lane. Uh, it's not necessarily targeted at anyone, but, you know, Ur Ur Urgot's really come into his own lately. Um, he, you know, he was nerfed a while back, and his popularity really declined, but lately it's come back, and uh, they kind of really want to prevent Olaf from getting shut down top lane. And uh, looking at picks, we see Mono with actually Lee Sin, Janna, uh, and Riven so far, and it looks like a Nintendo is actually going to be jungling that Riven, and it looks like we're going to see a top lane Lee Sin. Uh, Pixel actually picking that Janna there, which is always a strong pick. She's definitely come into her own lately. Um, she's really strong support, has you know all the CC you could ever need, um, and also seeing a Graves. So a Graves uh, Janna bot lane would actually be extremely strong. I'm really curious to see if Ziggs might end up running um, some life steal Quince um, to really pair extremely well with that Janna. You know, running that Doran's Blade early on, having that 10% uh, life steal. And uh, we're still sitting here waiting for Nintendo to see what he's gonna pick. And uh, unfortunately, cannot see the time, but I'm assuming his time is running up. And uh, he will be picking that, obviously, for Paradoxal mid lane, as uh, Zion will be heading top lane. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it looks like he's going for Morgana pick. So that is actually a really interesting pick. Uh, you know, you got to be really careful to not blow that Janna Monsoon um, with Morgana's ultimate. It can really just, you know, defeat the whole point of, of what Earl does. And looking at Dinitas' side, we see uh, Olaf, we see Corky, we see Tarek, Mundo, and Soraka. And it looks like that Soraka is actually going to be, yeah, a mid lane Soraka here again. Uh, Scar has been doing that quite consistently lately. And um, he's been doing pretty well at it. So we're going to see Boy Boy top lane. Uh, I will dominate running that Mundo in jungle, which has been very, very dominant and very popular lately. Um, just with his clear, qu uh, quick clear speeds and how well his ganks actually are. Um, not to mention just uh, how tanky becomes inherently through levels. Um, we're also seeing a Tarek bot lane with this Corky, so it looks like they might try to burst someone down here, um, considering they have no healing on bottom for Mono Esports. And it uh, looks like the game is actually going to be starting up here in a second, so let's get into it.